Good morning, my friend. My name is Stephen Adigoke of Gospel Pentecostal Assembly, the living world we are based in Leeds, United Kingdom. I bring good tidings to you once again this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and I hope God has been awesome in your dealings, in your life. And I believe even as you join me and as you go with me into the word of the Lord this morning, you're going to experience divine peace this morning and throughout this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn your Bible with me to the book of John chapter number 14 verse 27. This is where God wants us to learn something special in the way that we have never thought or imagined before. John chapter number 14 verse 27. Let me read for you. The Bible says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world given, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let me read from NIV version. The same chapter, John chapter number 14, verse 27. The Bible says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. What is the meaning of peace? The meaning of peace is simply the absence of war. The meaning of peace is tranquility. The meaning of peace is freedom from disturbance. That's what peace means. That's what the worldly peace means. That's what Jesus is trying to let us know that the kind of peace that I'm about to give to you, that I live with you, that I'm about to give to you, is not the same way God gives and not the same kind of peace that you have probably thought you know or that probably you have enjoyed over the past few years. And now, what is the kind of peace that the Lord Jesus wants us to understand this morning, even as you go in this way? Before the verse 27, let's go back a little bit to the pretext to understand the kind of peace that Jesus wants you and I to enjoy this week. The pretext of what we have read, which is verse number 25 and 26. Look at what the Bible says. These things have I spoken to you, being yet present with you. Look at that. The verse 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Not what Jesus said in verse number 25. He said, these things have I spoken to you, being yet present with you. In other words, Jesus is trying to tell his disciples. And Jesus is still telling you that this word that I'm speaking to you, that you have read about me, is about the peace that supersedes the kind of peace that you have ever enjoyed. And the peace is what he mentioned in verse number 26. Oh, that's amazing. The peace that Jesus talked about in verse 27 is what he mentioned in verse 26. Look at what he said. He said, but the comforter, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Now, how does the Holy Ghost in verse 26 mean the peace that Jesus is talking about in verse 27? How do I know? When you have the power and the gift of the Holy Ghost, when you have received Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, and you are filled with the Holy Ghost inside of you, you will have peace of mind. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you have joy. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, even when you are going through problems and troubles and challenges, the Holy Ghost will give you the peace that you need. The peace of the world means the absence of disturbance. The peace of the world means the absence of trouble. The peace of the world means the absence of trouble and challenges. But the peace that Jesus said he was going to give to you and I, that he has promised to you that I believe one or two or three or all of us that are listening to me this morning are going to encounter this week is the peace of the Holy Ghost. Now that peace of the Holy Ghost does not mean you are not going to face challenges. Does not mean you are not going to face trouble. But the peace that Jesus Christ has promised you and I know he's going to release unto someone this morning is even when you are going through troubles, even when you are going through trials, even when you are going through errors of life, 
the Holy Ghost will be giving you strength. We'll walk through the journey with you. We'll bring to remembrance the things that Jesus Christ has taught you. We'll bring to your remembrance the assurance of the salvation that you have in Jesus. That's the peace that Jesus is telling you this morning. But guess what? For everyone that has Jesus, transcending into having the Holy Ghost inside of them, even when they are faced with trouble and challenges, they will have peace of mind. How do I know that? The book of Job talks about what Job went through and yet he had peace of mind. He said, even though the things I feared the most befell me, I know my Redeemer liveth. Look at Stephen. In the book of Acts chapter number 7, the Bible talks about what he was going through when he was being stoned. There were troubles, there were challenges all over. But because of the power of the Holy Ghost inside of him, because of the heavens that was open upon him, because he had the assurance of where he is going. So he had peace of mind. He said, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. The same thing with Jesus. When he was going through trials and terrible things in, on earth, yet he never felt bad. He felt the strong conviction that his father is always with him. That's the peace that Jesus wants us to have. That's why he said, my peace, I live. The experience that Jesus had with the peace of God is what he left for us. And he said, he gave us that same peace. And that is the person of the Holy Ghost. He said, he gave us that same peace. That is the person of the Holy Ghost. So when you have the Holy Ghost inside of you, you have peace of mind. You have everything you need to face tomorrow. You have everything you need to face the troubles in your life. You have everything to face the future. Because the peace of God that passes all understanding, that passes human comprehension, that passes the absence of trouble, God has given it to you in the person of the Holy Ghost. I hope you get that gist this morning. Look at what the Bible says in verse number 26. The Bible says, But the comforter, the comforter, what does comforter mean? The person that comforts, that gives you peace, that gives you comfort, that gives you succor, that you can lay your head upon, the shoulder, that can give you the assurance of tomorrow, that can give you the assurance of the future, that can walk with you, that can tell you, that say, my son, my daughter, don't worry, you are not walking this path alone. Don't wonder the Bible said, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That is the peace that Jesus promised. That is the peace that Jesus left. I want to encourage you as you go this week. Crave for the peace of God. Crave for the peace that Jesus left for us. Crave for the peace that Jesus promised he's going to send. Crave for the peace that Jesus Christ has released, has given to you and I. And that's the person of the Holy Ghost. It's a great thing to have the Holy Ghost inside of you. It's a joyful thing to have the conviction that the Holy Ghost is right there with you. Everywhere, every step of the way. It's a good and a great thing to have the experience that when you stand to speak the word of God, the Holy Spirit backs it. When you stand to do interview, the Holy Spirit is there with you. When you stand to enter a bus, the Holy Spirit is there with you. When you stand to face the higher mighty of this world, the Holy Spirit is there with you. That's the peace, that's the comfort you have. When you have the Holy Ghost inside of you, you can face anybody. You can face anything. You can face any challenge. No matter what the world throws at you, the Holy Ghost is always there to guide, to protect, to strengthen, to encourage, and most importantly, to comfort you. That is the peace you should crave for this week. So if you have not had the encounter and the experience of this Holy Ghost, it is easy. So I want to give you a chance this morning for you to have peace. For you to have the comforter, for you to have all you need to face the future, bow your heads with me and say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. I believe you came to save me. I confess and forsake my sin. Save me. Forgive me my sin. Erase my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Help me. Come inside me. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my soul. I surrender myself to you. I will serve you from now on. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, if you have said that prayer, congratulations. You have the personality of Jesus inside of you right now. And Jesus Christ is bringing down with him the Holy Ghost and the personality that you need to continue to grant you the peace that he has promised you. Guess what? When you are faced with trials, you will be laughing. We are faced with trouble, you'll be rejoicing because you know you are not alone. There is nothing that can conquer and that can overcome Jesus. 
And if you have Jesus inside of you, you are more than conqueror. So if you have said that prayer with me, please send me a message on the number and image on your phone right now. And I would love to pray with you. And I would love to send you materials also that can help you to encounter this peace. That can help you to continually know the peace in Jesus. That can help you to continually know the peace that Jesus left for you that he wants you to enjoy. I would love to send you Bible and material that you can read. Please reach out to me and I would love to continue to be your friend. God bless you. And for those that have already encountered the personality of the Holy Ghost, let's pray together as we go on this week. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we thank you because you have promise fulfilled by Jesus. You are the person that gives us peace of mind. Even in the midst of trouble, even in the midst of trouble and challenges, Father, we say receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, we ask even as we go in this week that you will grant us peace on all sides. We ask, O oh God, that you will grant us peace on all sides. We ask, O oh God, that the peace that passes human understanding, that passes human comprehension, that passes all trouble, that passes the absence of trouble. Lord, may you release that peace upon us in the name of Jesus. It's a promise that you made. Lord, we ask that this Holy Ghost will not leave us. As we go in this week, everything that looks like obstacle in our lives, the Holy Ghost, the peace of the Holy Ghost, we erase them from our lives in the name of Jesus. The consciousness and the peace that we have received will make us scale through the orders of life in this week in the name of Jesus. We are more than conqueror. We confess that we are winners. We confess that we are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We declare this week the week of grace. We declare this week the week of prosperity. We declare this week the week of our peace in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that this week, everything that looks so hard and tough in our life, the peace of God will suit in them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning. God bless you. I remain your friend and I'll come back to you sometime again. God bless you. My name is Stephen Adigoki. Bye for now.